Didn't see you guys there. Good morning. It's your boy Mark. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a very special day. Uh, I can't wait to experience it with you guys and show you guys. I've got GTRs before and I've got 34s delivered before and you guys saw the Black Nerd delivery and but today is my first I told you guys that I was doing something that I want to do a little bit different uh, in the community. I got a bunch of GTRs coming. I don't want to say how many, but every single one of them, it depends how much I like them, but every single one of them will be for sale. And I'm not, I'm not going to be like a dealer like a top rank or anything like that. They're doing their own thing. They've been doing it for a while. A lot of places have it like that. The difference between me and my cars is the GTRs that leave my hand are gonna be tailored through my lens. And what I mean by that is, I'll give you a perfect example. One of my boys, West Bank, um, he drove my M Spec NUR uh, over the weekend. And he's like, bro, what the fuck? This car feels brand new. <laughs> the steering feels brand new. It turns brand new. It feels that way because I've spent a lot of time and effort in the suspension components to make them brand new, to change the necessary stuff to make it feel brand new. The car's response is fantastic. But, but more than that, a lot of dealers, a lot of places, they overlook a lot of stuff that I think is a key component to making a car refreshed and brand new like brand new wipers brand new cowls brand new moldings shit like that goes a long fucking way and people that are buying these cars they're not looking to buy them and fucking they're looking people that want these cars i'm assuming they're like me and it's their dream car and they want it, it's a bucket list car, they want it for a long time, and they want to preserve the car as much as possible and not lose money on it when they drive it. The only way that's gonna happen, you can get a shit box, a rust bucket box, for dirt cheap, and try to compare those prices. I don't care. You find a dirt box, a rust bucket, go fucking get it, I don't give a fuck. The cars that come through my hands are gonna be fully done, um, I don't think anyone's really doing these types. I, I wouldn't call it a restoration. I'm not rotisseriing it. I'm not fucking, I'm not Garage Yoshida, um, uh, Tommy Effia. I don't know exactly what you're doing with the 34 chassis. I know you have the capabilities to do all this shit too, the restoring and all that stuff, but I'm just a regular dude. I'm not a fucking shop. I'm just a regular guy that loves this chassis and the cars that come through my hands are going to be satisfactory to what I think should be done on a minimum level uh, to all the 34s. Um, there's also a maximum level of what I think should be done. Uh, and I have a couple people that have, that have already tried, uh, that, that are already working with me to make their 34s exactly what I would do to that 34. The full treatment, right? blank checkbook, do what you gotta do, make this the sickest, black one make this the sickest blue one whatever so there's some of you out there like that too and i'm willing to do that why because this is what i truly enjoy the passion in my actual heart is fixing up these cars getting involved in the gtr community i sold all my exotics to get involved in this platform i love this fucking platform it gives me the most joy it looks the best and I wanna embed myself in this community more than I already have. So with that said, sorry for the, uh, you know, the beginning uh, words, but this is very important to me and um, I'm not just uploading these videos so you could see, I'm also uploading these videos so that I could have memory of days like this or special moments like this. Um, but my, anyway, the point is my first white one that is going to be uh, available, uh, I would say. The Black Nur is for sale, okay? Uh, but it's not cheap. It's not for the pers casual person that wants a GTR. It's for the baller that wants a Black Nur, one of 24 clean. That's that's that, and that car's coming back soon. It's getting it's getting.
getting minor stuff done. This white one that I got, and I'll show you when it gets here. You know what? I'll just show you guys when it gets here and we'll go over the car. Guys, I just got the text that he's five minutes away. So, should hear this motherfucker any minute now. Now, this car has, I did work on this car prior to transport. Um, and it's been here for a few days, getting some things done that is necessary for me before I take delivery in my own personal hands. We can go over what's been done prior. So I didn't like buy the car like this. Um, but this was a very clean car from a friend. Um, and can't wait to show you guys in a sec. There we go, daddies. BBS's. These wheels are for sale, by the way. They will be for sale. What's up, Mark? What's up? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again, man. Probably gonna see you a lot in the next few weeks. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple more, right? Yeah, there's a few more. Alright, cool. This was a little low, it's gonna take a little while to. That's alright. That's not that low. <laughs> All right, guys, here we have it. Let me introduce to you to the newest car in the fleet that's gonna be for sale. White's not my thing, but white is a very popular color for this car. This is my 1999 QM1 V-Spec GTR. It is a January car. It was supposed to be here in January, but the boat took a long fucking time. What do you want me to do? Let's go over the car. Let me tell you guys what it has. And let me tell you guys what I'm going to do to it. Um, but before I do, I think these colors, the, the, the colors on this chassis matter. And it seems like to me that the white one so far has been the softest color. People sending me DMs, oh look at this white one for like 130. Well, it's a fucking grade R from the auction. It's a fuck, you know, it's a repaired. If even if there's a small repair, it's a grade R. The Japanese will grade it a grade R. Or there's fucking rust everywhere, or shit like that. So, um, I, there's gonna be a lot of you like that, that will message me. Oh, I can find this, I can find that, whatever. I love you guys. Go fucking buy that one. I'm totally cool with it. The cars that I buy, I make sure that the, the auction report is high if they even went to an auction or I've done some extensive research on the car itself. You guys need to take a look at underneath this car. I don't think you're ever gonna find a 34 that hasn't been rotisserie restored as clean as the underneath of this car. I'm gonna put some pictures of how clean the underneath of this car is before I lift it up, because I don't know if I'll lift it up today. But I will show you guys how clean the underneath of this fucking car is so you guys can kind of understand why this car is gonna be 200 plus. But let's go over what the car has. So, um, those of you that know, know, Z-Tune front end, Z-Tune fenders, Z-Tune sides, Z-Tune rear spats. Technically the sides and rear spats are not Z-Tune, they're Nismo, but that's what the Z-Tune has, okay? It's got superior auto wing risers. I have the stock ones as well that will come with the car. Um, super quiet exhaust, I got another exhaust for that. 
Uh, it comes with those BBS wheels, but I'm going to take them out because uh, every single one of the cars that I want for sale, I'm throwing LMGT4s on it just to keep the Nismo heritage. So I'm, put, I'm throwing LMGT4s on there. Those BBSs are for sale. Uh, it looks like it has those Nismo smoked, smoked corners. That's basically it for the exterior. Okay. And we can talk about what I'm going to do to the exterior. Obviously a full paint correct. Uh, polish. Uh, new moldings. New cowl. New windshield wiper. Um, new badges, new lights, uh, just basically the whole thing just to refresh this. Some of these things are pretty good, in pretty good condition, but that windshield wiper, the windshield wiper cap, and the new badges, the new trunk light, the new fog lights, all that shit's going to get replaced um, because I think it should. Every new car that touches my hand should, should go through that process. On the inside, very, very clean. The door panels look clean. Got the leather seat covers with the red stitching. Everything kind of flows really well. Got the Nismo um, shift knob, titanium shift knob. I don't know if this has a Nismo MFD. If it does, it's automatic 12K extra that I'll be charging. Let's see. Oh. So no Nismo MFD, which is fine. This car has 64,000 miles, original, verified. So not high, very good. The screen's in good tact. The interior's in pretty good condition, to be honest with you. I don't see any need to replace any of this stuff. I will put new turn signals. The airbag and steering wheel seem like they're in good condition. I don't know what the fuck this is. I mean, obviously you wanna see more, but I get it. But I have my OEM one that I'll be putting on here, or I can just get a brand new OEM one. Uh, the lights are LED here. That These aren't LED, so <laughs> I gotta put LED lights here so it matches pretty anal about that but uh, outside of that everything looks pretty clean the interior isn't Nismo um, the the interior these are the superior auto um, uh, the covers the front and rear I kind of like the superior auto one too because it matches with the 99 V spec red stitching interior if you could if you notice here the OEM steering wheel has red stitching. The OEM handbrake has red stitching. So does the uh, OEM armrest. But the Superior one kind of went really heavy with the red stitching. So everything really matches super well. So I actually kind of like this style with the Superior Auto ring risers. Everything kind of makes sense with the whole red and, red and black theme. Um, obviously, it's got a Nismo cluster. Those are, you can't even find those anymore. So got the white Nismo cluster to match with the white. This car needs minor TLC on the interior, I would say. All right, guys. Cut this bad boy open. Obviously stock motor, stock everything. Um, got some corrosion over there. I'm thinking on what I wanna do, how much money I wanna spend on this. Um, ideally, the car that leaves my hand, I want it to be super pristine clean. And if that's the case, then um, then I'm probably gonna have to go to Remade USA. I'm gonna do the whole intake side, most likely. Um, get a brand new one, brand new one here. Clean this up, a new badge, clean all that shit up. But it's a, basically just a stock motor, just super clean. Um, yeah, nothing really to see here, but tell me what you guys think of the car, guys. Oh, it, it, is, it is lowered on Nismo suspension. So I think it has the uh, the S-Tune coilovers with the reservoirs. I don't know if you guys can see it over there, but when we lift up the car, I'll show you guys um, what coilovers on. So the whole theme of this car is basically Nismo, a lot of Nismo shit. So <clears throat> yeah, guys, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys would do differently. Obviously I can go crazy, I can go single turbo, I can go all this other shit, but Remember, the, the more money I spend on this, uh, the, the harder it's going to be to find that buyer that wants to spend all that money too. I want to leave, a I want to leave some room, obviously, um, for creativity on whoever buys this car. So I don't want to come fully fu fucking fix it up. I want to give a nice little canvas, maybe put some parts on here that are very hard to get, like the Z-Tune front end. That shit is hard to find. So let me at least do that, which I already have done and then we'll go from there basically i'll see um and then and then I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys to kind of build or finish the car however you guys want so um 
But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the car. Tell me if you guys would do something different. Uh, I will show you guys all the progress on this car as we start changing shit out, as parts start coming in and the paint correction gets done. But um, if you can, hit that subscribe button for your boy. I would appreciate that and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace.